Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl. I'm Sally. Today's video is of some diamond paintings and a puzzle I purchased off the fan sales website. I purchased these in April, so only two months ago. Can you believe it? I have officially caught up on my own purchases. So excited. Alrighty, so let's start off with the puzzle as it's the only thing not diamond painting related. So I've always wanted to try these little wooden puzzles. This is a symphony cat. So it's bagged up for now, but it comes in this organza bag and it's all quite decent sized wooden pieces and they're all got their own shape. So they do look Hopefully you can see how thick they are there. So they are quite decent size. They're not tiny little cardboard that's going to rip easily, but they all come in weird shapes. So that looks like a meerkat maybe, that one in the middle there. Um, others, not necessarily animals, but other weird shapes. And it makes up this really beautiful cat. So it also has a poster uh, in there so you know what the cat looks like. So I wonder if this is actual true to size because it says it's a 16.6 times 28.6 centimeter image. So what did I say? 28.6. So this must be life size of what the puzzle will actually turn out to be. So that's handy. So I guess you could do it on this if you needed a guide. But I, I won't. I'll use this maybe at the side as a guide. But that gives you an idea of how big the puzzle will be, which is awesome. So I will definitely be doing this on the channel. It will probably be as a time lapse type video and uh, with no talking. But look out for that one because I love doing little puzzles on the channel. But that looks pretty awesome and it looks pretty decent in quality so yeah that's going to be fun now I did get three diamond paintings as well so let's have a look at the diamond paintings so the first one first of all you get your standard toolkit there's your drills I won't get these ones out but they are the silver striped ones so they're usually pretty good oh there's a lot of that color that must be a background color but this one may be controversial to some people. So yes, I know it's controversial because people will go unlicensed image, blah, 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 blah. Save your breath. When it comes to mega corporations, if I like the image, I will buy the image. That's all I'm going to say on that one. All right, so there's 20 colors. DMC codes included on the legend. Lots and lots of white background in this one. This might be one where I bring out some of the origami paper or other Disney-fied stuff I've got around the house I can put on it so I don't have to do all the white background or even just trim it and not do all of the white background. We'll see how it goes when I come to it. But it is Piglet. It's very cute. It's a 30 by 40 image looks really clear drill field looks really clear so yeah really happy with it not much more to really say on that one it's just it's piglet boop, boop, piglet's nose and it's sticky okay kit number two so we'll have a look at this first you've got your standard toolkit and happiness of happy happy joys it's pre-kitted so I'm happy with that, as always. So there are 20 colours by the looks of things. I will check these offline. Um, I won't drag them out. Going along my theme of the posters that say something about me, I got this one. Reading because murder is wrong. Anything because murder is wrong, really. <laughs> it's just... Apparently, they keep telling me murder is wrong. So here it is, a very glossy canvas. Actually, this one admittedly has a bit of a smell coming off it. It's uh, a very <laughs> strong glue. Uh, just to show you, boop him on the nose, boop. Uh, yeah, look at that. That <laughs> is 
that's a lot of glue and I can smell it. Woo! So there are 20 colors, DMC codes included, and they're also on the bags, being that it's pre-kitted. And it's a cute little dragon. Looks grumpy like me. The words are really easy to read on this one, so I'm very happy with that. Again, they have multiple colors within the words, but if you wanted to just use the one color, you could. The drill field is really clearly printed. It's just a bit dark in places, so you would most likely want to use a light pad or whatever your preferred light source is. But it's clearly printed, and I do like the look of it. He is a cute, there we use, grumpy dragon, and I think it's gorgeous. Although admittedly I don't read as much as I used to, but I do have audibly now, not sponsored <laughs> or affiliated in any way, shape or form, just saying I find doing audiobooks great so I can be doing other things with my hands as well. I used to love reading as a kid, but nowadays I get too fidgety just sitting there with a book. Yeah, so Audible is really good for me. As I said, not sponsored or affiliated, but if you want to Audible, I'm available. <laughs> yeah, come sponsor this tiny, tiny little channel. You know you want to. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, the third and final kit. So this time we got some Ziploc bags, so it's a little bit of an extra spicy kit. And uh, the horrible, horrible way the drills are packaged, the individual bags with the number on them. It's not a quality thing with these. It's, you don't have an inventory sheet so that you know if you've got enough and if they can be clumsily ripped off as you can see there's some loose drills so I don't know if that means a bag's been split or ripped off poorly and I don't particularly feel like auditing all of that well I don't know how many I'm supposed to have of each so yeah I'm, I'm it. Not happy at all when drills come like this. I, I think these are the worst type of packaging you can get. But let's have a look at the kit. This is the kit. It's another one of my animal posters with a saying. And this one is a cat reading the newspaper on the toilet with Nasbet. I might actually frame this and put it in my poo room. Yes, my poo room is my poo room because it currently only has Winnie the Pooh decorations in my main toilet, but this would work in there as well. I'm not ashamed to say I have a poo room. If you can't have a poo room in the poo room, where are you going to have a poo room, I ask you. Now, this is shiny, shiny, a lot of glue on this too. Boop, the cat's nose somewhere in there. It's a very dark cat. As you can see, a lot of glue, very sticky. But this one doesn't smell at least. Thank goodness. Clear writing. You could put the crystal rhinestones for his eyes if you wanted to add a bit of zhuzh. There's 20 colors. It's all a very muted tone by the looks of the legend. Uh, he's reading cat news. I don't know how clearly that would come out I mean, it's really clear through the viewfinder, but how, how that will come out when you drill it. You might be able to do the drills to spell the words. I'll see how I go. But again, uh, nice butt is a couple of different colours. You could keep that all the one colour to make it stand out easier. But the drill field is really quite clear on this one. Yeah, happy with that. No problem. Just not happy with the way those drills are. Okay, so here are the items I purchased from fan sales back in April. So this was the last of my own purchases. I am officially up to date with unbagging everything I've bought myself in terms of diamond painting. 
I love all of the canvases. The canvases are printed really well. A light pad would help with that one, but it's not a printing issue. It's just a dark image. So I love them all. Just not happy with the way the drills came for the nice butt one. Those drills suck. The drill quality themselves is probably quite good. I just don't like the packaging. It takes an extra step in kitting up than if it's just in like this type of bag. So you know me and kitting up. I don't like doing it. But canvas wise, love all of the canvases. And this is going to be fun to do. So I will be doing a separate video on completing this. So let me know down below in the comments what you think of this haul. Are there any kits here that you like or you would be interested in? Do you like doing puzzles? Does that sort of puzzle interest you as well? I'd love to hear from you and I always respond. If this is your first time stumbling across my channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button and also hit that notification bell to make sure you are up to date with when I have uploaded my latest video. If you're interested in supporting the channel further, I do have a Ko-fi and a Patreon account set up and the details are up here on screen. That will do it for this video. So everybody, no matter where you are, please stay safe. Stay weird, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.